Uh, ladies, I don't have to say, I okay, I have to just tell you that when I read the book, Minnie and Celia were my two favorite characters. Me and too. for me, you have just exceeded my expectations in this wow. movie. Wow. That's huge. Is Thank it you. hard, you know, when you take such a popular book and you have that responsibility to the people who have read it, you know? Absolutely. I am one of those people who read it. I read it about five or six times. So I, I believe that if it didn't pass the smell test with me, it wouldn't pass the smell test with anyone as far as getting the story yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, it, but the, I, you know, the reason why I keep saying this, I hope I'm not embarrassing you, but the reason why Minnie is such an amazing character, it's because the woman right here was the inspiration. She's not, she's not Minnie, yeah. but she was the inspiration for that amazing character. Aww. So her heart, her soul, everything is up there. Yeah, I mean, you have a history with director uh, Tate and, of course, with Catherine Stockett, the author. And, and Brunson Green, the producer. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And so for you to have read this book when Catherine, uh, you know, showed it to you, what was, oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know her very well. And so I didn't know what to expect. And I was really smart to at, not ask her what it was about because there is an adverse reaction at first when we hear uh, African-Americans playing maids. I'm like, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. And then I read the first page and there was a dialect and so my dander was up. Um, and then as I continued to read, like not even a half page in, I realized that she was writing extremely intelligent women with depth who mm -hmm. weren't educated, right. but they were intelligent, they were uh, uh, heart-wrenching, they had a depth that we'd never seen before. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know, establishing the bond between your two characters, it's such a wonderful opportunity to, for us to see a white woman who doesn't have that racist quality in her in, in the time that she's, you know, um, the two of you working together. I, I tell you, I just, I'm going to tear up now just thinking about oh, your If you cry, I'm going to cry. Don't do it. I've okay. done it yesterday. Really? Really? I, 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 <laughs> it happened yesterday. Yeah. What was it like to work together? Oh, my God. I mean, I read the script, and I loved Celia so much because she was colorblind. Um, and uh, and then I met Octavia, and I thought, well, you know, there's something as an, as an actor. My favorite thing being an actor is working with, other actors okay. in that kind of the, uh, invisible current that's in the room uh, when you're in scenes together. As soon as I met her, I just realized, I mean, it, the chemistry was We great. became instant friends. Instant friends. In the audition. Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of, and I realized, okay, if this doesn't happen, it's going <laughs> to, it's going to be really sad because the combination <laughs> of the two of us brings something to Celia and Minnie that is very exciting for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Okay. Let's just talk about all the food on this set. Really? Um, mm, you know, mm, my mm, goodness, mm. and you are what? You're a vegan or vegetarian? So you had a tough time with that. Is Tate going around <laughs> telling everybody? Tate is Taylor is telling everyone I'm vegan. Yes, uh, they but the made fried me. chicken was fake, but it looked good. I know they <laughs> made me. Um, the props on this were amazing, and they made me like the the coolest looking fried chicken. Um, <laughs> Mine was better. I'm sure. I like the real. <laughs> no offense, Jessica, it did but I like smell the better. real stuff. Mine was better. No, everyone keeps asking me how it tasted, and I was like, it tastes fine. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> Probably not as good as fried chicken, yeah. but um, yeah. I cleared away that chicken every take. <laughs> Just working on very quickly, working on something like this or even reading a book like this even change you in any little way? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It made me realize uh, I have nothing to complain about. Uh, these women, uh, even though they are fiction, uh, they represent scores of real people mm -hmm. who just worked hard and, and made a way for myself and you know subsequent generations. So I have nothing to complain about. Jessica? Yeah. For me, it, um, it's a reminder about opening your heart. And uh, whenever, you know, playing Celia, she's just this woman who, who goes through life with just no shell, just this open heart. And uh, that's a great reminder for me. Uh, also, it's a, it's a reminder that even if you think everything's okay in modern day, oh, we're fine now. Even though this movie takes place in the 60s, we're not, we, I mean, and we have made progress. We're not done. Right. We still got a ways to go. Right. Uh, and so that's a great reminder. Yeah. Well, like I say, you girls are fabulous in this oh, end. Thank really, you. Really, we'll, we're going to be we seeing you at the Oscars. Toronto. We're going to come to well, Toronto. Well, that would be fun.